Hi scrapbookers! Today we're going to be making two pages on one piece of paper. You don't have to do it like this, but sometimes I like to if I'm not really, you know, well, the other side of the page is going to be covered up anyways, um, but this way I'm sure that these will stay together in the album, and it's a great way to use up a lot of photos. So on one, page, on one side of the page, it's nine four by six photos cropped down to four by fours. So there's nine photos there with three spots for embellishments. And then on the other side, there's four photos that are all going horizontally that are in a series. So it's just like a bunch of shots of basically the same thing, but it shows them from just regular riding in the boat until everybody is doing like the Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, I'm king of the world arms. So, and then I do this whole big strip of little um, word embellishments. And the other thing that I'm going to show you in this video is this, I'm so excited about this. It's where I'm keeping my dimensional die, or yeah, the di not dimensional, but all the different die cuts. So I show you this little solution that I've come up with and also a solution for chipboard embellishments and where to keep them and how to keep them and so that you can actually use them on your pages. I'm actually really excited about this little solution. It's going to solve my problems um, of embellishing the page or being able to find all these little different words that actually relate to and you know are the right size and color and everything else um, for my pages. So I'm pretty excited about this. I just, I just made that a little uh, a couple days ago. Anyways, this is the page we're going to be working on today, so go get your stuff and let's start scrapbooking. Hi scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott and today we're going to be working on um, this page <laughs> that I've started um, and I also wanted to show you this finished page. So this page, if you have um, a lot of photos, then I think this is a great um, way to deal with them. So on this side of the page, I cut nine four by six photos down to four by four. And then I just put them in a grid. I also tried to kind of, um, like I had all these beach photos, I tried to keep those on one line. These two photos kind of matched, so I put them together. They didn't all match, but they did enough, and I also intentionally made a big block of white space, which is was, in this case, water. So that's where a lot of these stickers went, and I was going to just leave it at that as far as the stickers went, um, but I then I decided to put a couple of different things up here, and then in this photo, I didn't really like, like you could see the girl's legs and it just wasn't the most attractive view and so I covered up the bottom half of that photo just with a journaling card so that you know I'll just show you you know it was just like a lot of legs but preteen legs that you know we can cover those up <laughs> I can try right so that's one side of the page and um, yeah, it's just we go to this little island by, by our house quite a bit. So we have a, a lot of photos, and um, I think I just took a lot of photos on this particular day. So I wanted to capture that little experience that we have of bringing friends over to the island. So on this side, this is when we had four friends, or my two kids and two of their friends. And so on the way over, they decided to do the, you know, let's do that thing like I'm the king of the world. So instead of saying the king of the world, because there's four of them, and they all ended up doing it in the last one, that was pretty cool. But you know that song, We're on Top of the World? So that was the title. We're on top of the world. Hey! You know that one? I think you do. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the next thing we're going to do. We're going to banner up this whole line here, and that's how we're going to embellish this page. And then it will be pretty much finished. But I want to show you um, the most coolest thing I did. <laughs> so, you know how you have, okay, you know how you have sticker sheets, and then you have, um, hold on just a second here, you have, uh, like, these cut-apart sheets, 
or I do anyways. I've got sticker sheets that are like, this one still has enough stickers on it that I'm going to leave it as a sticker sheet. But at some point, this 12 by 12 piece of paper or piece of sticker sheet is going to get so, so small that it, I really should just cut up the stickers and put them somewhere else, right? Same thing with this type of a cutout sheet. You know, you pop them out and then like the structure of this 12 by 12 gets a little flimsy. So maybe I, you know, I cut this one out. I'm like, I'm going to use this on my page, right? Like, look, maybe I will. But say I don't end up using that on my page. What I can do is just put a small amount of adhesive on the back. And then, this is the exciting part, I have this little book of all sorts of things. And, and so I've arranged them by like, here's a bunch of banners, or there's another one of those looks. Um, here's, you know, things with arrows. And they just, this is, um, it is just a journal with 50 sheets of paper. It's, it says it's seven by 10. It doesn't really feel that big to me, but it was $4.99. I think I probably got it up Tuesday morning. It's like, it's, it's nice draw, you know, drawing paper. So the, the weight of the paper is heavy. You know what I mean? Like it's very heavy cardstock, which is nice. But this is, I think, my answer to, instead of just having everything in a little container where then the little bits really get lost, I think this is going to be a great place for me to store embellishments. And even like, these are whole sticker sheets, so I just put a little adhesive on the back, <laughs> mash it down, and it stays in because it's not like really going anywhere. Although I think you could totally bring this to like a crop if you did that sort of thing. So I just put all of my die cuts, not all of them, but all the ones that were just loose and out and available, especially the ones that um, I had just picked up from that yard sale. So they're all kind of in here, or ones that I have been using lately. And I think this is going to be a really easy place to like pull things from and add things to. So I'm pretty excited about this. And then I started trying to put chipboard embellishments in there but as you can see just with the regular embellishments it's already pretty thick and yeah I could probably remove some pages but I'm not gonna do that because I'm fine with it being a little bit like that so then for the chipboard embellishments they really weren't sticking well in this format anyway so not only were they taking up too much space but it also just wasn't working sticky wise. So I got this nine by nine Heidi Swap album that I also picked up at a yard sale. I filled the pages with just white cardstock and then you can take off the chipboard embellishment and then put it right back on. It's perfect. Like, and I am, am not all that concerned with if I end up using this as an actual album or not. But it doesn't seem to be really damaging the pages, but I'm sure with a lot of use, you know, these pages are going to get pretty mangled up. But you can also slide things, like these were dimensional stickers, so I just slid them into the page. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this new little solution of mine for chipboard elements and, um, what do you might call it? Let's use these. Um, chipboard elements nine, no, 2015, that'll, that'll work. Um, but anyways, I think like one of my biggest hurdles in scrapbooking is doing the embellishments. And so a lot of times it's like finding the embellishments. So this is the my solution for all those little random embellishments that you always know you have, but you're not really sure where they are. So let's do this part first. Just want a big date. I think I'm just gonna put it way over here. I'm not sticking it down 
too hard. These pictures are actually from February. We're in Florida, so it's almost like we're more apt to do outdoorsy things. Not in the summer. It's summer right now, and the weather is pretty variable in the summer. You never know when you're going to, you know, a thunderstorm is going to come, but in February, the weather is not so unpredictable. Or it's all pretty predictable. It's just predictably bad in the summer. So there's 2015. All right. And the I like these little triangles because it was like we go back and forth to the island quite a bit. So that's why I wanted to use those. Okay. So let's go about some embellishments. So let's look here first and see if there's any chipboard that I would like to add. Do, 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 do. So if I have any arrows, they need to be pointing that way. This is pointing the wrong way. I have laugh out loud. That's sort of appropriate because these are kids that are always on their computers. I'm going to actually just tuck that underneath a little bit. But I'm not going to stick it down like super duper just because I might move these around. So I'm not going to crunch it down there. Um, I like these little arrows draw your eye to the title. Spread your wings. That's pretty funny. That's pretty apt, too. Spread your wings. Okay, I don't want these two... I don't want the, um... all the chipboard, like, too close together. So I have three pieces of chipboard there. I think I might stop at three. Okay. So yeah, let's stop at three pieces of chipboard. And then we'll go to those couple of things that I pulled out right here and now. So I also want to go with three. I have um, I want to do like three places where this red is. Maybe all the way up there. I think some of these, yeah. What's neat about, these are Teresa Collins, and what's neat is sometimes on the back, it'll be like the opposite, um, it'll be the same, but the going in the opposite direction, which gives you some nice, you know, gives you some nice choices there. And I think if you made mini books, it would also give you Some nice choices. So now I'm just going to layer up all these different words all the way up and down. And that is going to be my page. Yeah. Real life like that. So it's July is almost over and my kids go back to school. Um, they go back to school on August 17th. So, so when I do this with the black, I want to do that three times. I want to do each of the colors kind of three times, if I can. 
And so what will happen to this page after, you know, it's so much of this is now off the page, it's going to Um, it's going to go in that little book, so I'll show you. I won't do the whole entire thing, but I'll do some of it. Oops. I think I'm going to go like this. And I, what, the other thing I want to do is kind of stagger the lengths of these little words. So this might not work. So this is probably going to take me kind of a little while to get all of them down, but and so I think I might just go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll come back. But then what I'll do with the rest of these is I'll go to, okay, here's a place for banners. I can go and then pop out the rest of these and then just plop them into this little book. So then I don't have to keep dealing with this, you know, weird looking piece of paper. And the other thing I like about this is then, so sometimes you want like a banner or sometimes you want a circle, then I can just go to those pages. Here's a circle page. That one's getting to be completely full. full. So now I'll just go and look somewhere towards the back and just start another circle page so I can you know when I'm looking for circles all of them will be here and what's nice is if I wanted to use the ones from the same line well they're gonna be here together on the page but then also if I want to mix them up with other lines well those are gonna be there too you know it's it's I'm loving it I'm loving it so far okay I'm gonna go ahead and get this page kinda made and then I'll be back actually I changed my mind I'm just gonna keep um, keep going so that you can kind of see how this goes and how if it's theoretically easy or actually easy. <laughs> so I think that some of the some of these like you could probably plan it out a little better if you had this kind of a book you know maybe plan a couple of pages for the circles because you'll probably have more than just one page but I didn't do that it's okay. Let's see if we have any from, now these are stickers, this is, this is awesome, and this like goes the wrong direction, but I'm going to point this at the date, so then it'll be kind of going the right direction, and then I'll need something underneath here. Do, do, do. Gonna use Put some more down here. Okay, so the stickers don't really, I mean, they're, I feel like they're not really going to work as well in this book, but let's try them, um, I haven't done this, but let's try those odd leftover stickers in this other book, and see, yeah, that's going to work. So this will be not only for chipboard, but also for stickers, that will work totally. I really like that idea, because then you could just bring these little books with you, you know, bring some pattern paper bring a couple of like washi tape and a couple other things and then bring one of these books and you'll have like a ton of embellishments to choose from which I think you know we all like options I like options oops that's a scallop I don't really want that one I could put that back in the other book but I'm not going to <laughs> okay I don't think I see anything else on that page that I want and this one I'm gonna do the rest of it later, like putting these into this book. I could use the 
anchors, but they're going the wrong way, so that's not going to work. But I like that idea. I'm going to add a little bit more of that red, I think. Yeah. Yes, I am. So what can I say? I've been trying to um, get my kids to get out there and have fun this summer, and it seems like like I really feel like I they would have been happier at camp, but they don't think they would be happier at camp. So I'm looking for my adhesive. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like next summer you guys should go to camp, and they're like I don't want to go to camp, but I bet you would have so much fun, you know. They don't believe me. Like camp was like some of my most favorite parts of my childhood. Anyways, so we're trying to pack some fun in. We've had a lot of fun this summer, and um, so I'm just trying to document it because I think it's really easy for kids to be like, we didn't do anything, it's not even fun, we had no fun. And so you kind of have to prove to them like, oh yes we did, look, I have it documented right here. Because <laughs> we didn't, my daughter and my my husband went on a little trip, but like we, otherwise we didn't really go anywhere and that's, um, you know, feels a little bit like, oh, well nothing happened. So I'm trying to do the, like prove to them in the scrapbook pages and that, that 12 by 6 by 12 book that, hey, look, we did, we had a lot of fun this summer. Um, yep. Called, uh, so I, I really do want to have this be a different length. Put, I want to I want to make it look like all these aren't the same exact length. Ooh, I liked this one too. I forgot about this. This was smell the sea. This was a like much longer than the rest of them. I was gonna put this down here and then I forgot about it. Yeah, that's kind of stuck down now. But this is, this, these are October afternoon stickers that I think are fairly new. I bought them at Whimsadoodle and so I guess that's just going to be like way staggered out. <laughs> it's okay. But I think that will be the only one that kind of goes out that far. Let's see what else we got here. X marks the spot. I don't feel like that really applies. I'll put that back. So, yeah, I, I'm going to get to this, but I'm going to kind of do these other things first. And this wasn't actually the summer, so I have to keep not doing the summer. Life is good. Yeah, these are kids that sometimes need to be reminded of that. <laughs> you know, like, hey, it's, everything's great. <laughs> and they're like, no, it isn't. I'm like, yes, it is. And I think that's, you know, kind of trying to convince your people that life is good is sometimes um, what scrapbooking is about. <laughs> So this is the good life. So I'm just trying, you know, I think as the storytellers, it's important to tell, you know, the stories that you feel like you want to tell. But also, it's important to show, like, hey, look, we actually do have fun. <laughs> if you've got anybody that's kind of like, you know, any kind of, um, Anybody who needs convincing that 
They they are actually having fun. <laughs> like, here's your proof, kid. Yeah, those I don't really love those together. Just because the font is exactly the same even though they're different colors. I'm gonna move that one. Some of these are kind of easier to move than others. And I'm trying to make it so they're layered. Like things are layered or not layered. Let's do this one down here, actually. I think that will fit. It's a little bit of a puzzle. But it's a fun little puzzle. And this kind of, um, you know, all these different, all the different words kind of remind me of the type of scrapbooking that I used to do when I was their age. I'm going to need a really skinny one for right here. But that's what's so cool about this is you've got all these things to, um, to, to choose from. It's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm being a little over the top with all this, like the best day ever, but you could use those some of the time, huh? Okay, so one, two, three, four more, I think. That one that says, oh, happy day. So, yeah, I have a little, my photos kind of overlapped in a weird way here, so I'm trying to make that so it's not so obvious. That one will work. Life as we know it. We need another skinny one here. The skinny ones are getting to be the tricky ones. But still, I think this is like a really, it says family and friends, that will work. I think my little book is going to be a really great solution for me. So we're almost there. I've got a couple of really, really skinny ones that I think are going to be hard. What to do, what to do. I almost think maybe these little guys will work. Oops, that's not going to go. <laughs> Neither one of these are going to come up, so... Salty sea air. We get one more of the, the yellow up here, right in this one. And it almost doesn't have to make like a ton of sense. Like here, I'm just really going for, I'd like to have some more words right in here. It's not perfect, <laughs> but neither are we. Okay, but I like it fine enough, I think.
Well, yeah. All right. Do we want that there? Okay, that's really stuck down. So once you stick that down, you kind of have to commit to that. Not sure I want to cut that one in half. But I do like the idea of like just a little something there. Do we like that? Or maybe not. Let's do no. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go do just a little bit of journaling, I think, right in here. Or actually, I'm not gonna do any. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call that done. It's done! <laughs> okay, well, thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon. Try not to let as much time go by in between. Oh, I just found some more things. Hold on just a second. They found this little, what do you want to call it, of borders, and I think I these match. Hold on just a sec. Okay, so I'm thinking it might be fun. to add something. I don't know how or where. Like I could do, how are we with that? No, it doesn't really. It could do so. I would cover up poor little what's his face his face, but I could do something like this, which I sort of like, but I'm not going to. It changed my mind again. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. So this is um, one side of the page, and that's the other side of the page. And I have actually more photos of this little adventure, so what I'm thinking is this is the title page. Then you'll open it up. This will be on the left. And then I might do a more traditional page over here. Yeah. So if I do that, I will, um, I'll, I'll show you how that's going to look in the album. But So this is not totally done. But we'll call this two pages for purposes of my challenging myself to do 30 pages with the, the yard sale stuff. Thanks for watching. I'm Katie Scott. <laughs>